Hey guys, it's Jasmine from the Mirror Gaming team here and today I'm going to show you how to install a PSU or power supply unit into your gaming PC. So let's get into it. In order to access the back of your PC case, you just have to remove this back panel. Ours comes out with two screws at the back here. And then you can just slide it out and remove it. And then this is what the back of your PC case will look like. I know it can look a bit intimidating and there's loads of cables going on here, but don't worry, just ignore them all for now. We'll get to them later on. We've got an 850 watt power supply. It's the MSI MAG A850GL PCI 5 edition, since we've got a pretty hefty GPU going into this PC. So this is what your power supply will look like. This is what actually powers the PC. Your power input cable just goes in at the back here and you've got a switch to turn it on and off. And then all of the remaining cables will come out of this section here and go into all of the different components in your PC. You can see here ours is modular as most modern power supplies are. So that means all of the power cables go in separately. I would recommend plugging all of the power cables into the power supply unit before putting it into the PC case. Otherwise, I promise you, you're gonna be trying to shove your hand back in there and it's not gonna fit and you're gonna have a really tough time. The first cable you'll need for your power supply is your motherboard cable. This is the 24 pin adapter cable for your motherboard. You'll also need to make sure you've got your CPU connector, which is an eight pin adapter. And then you'll also need your PCIe cable. We've got a 600 watt one here because we are powering a 4080. If you're using a GPU that requires an alternative, then don't worry, it should come with it. So just to get the biggest cable out of the way first, I'm gonna be plugging in the 24 pin adapter for my motherboard. Since our power supply is modular, ours splits into two different sections. This bit will go into your power supply, and then this bit will go into your motherboard. In order to connect this to your power supply, just line up the pins on here with the pins on the power supply. Make sure the clip is going into the right section and push down until you hear a click sound. You may just want to give them a little tug to see if they come out. If they do, then it hasn't clicked in properly and just push down a little bit harder. Ours are firmly in place. Next, I'm just going to go in with the PCIe cable. And last but not least, the CPU cable. If you've got a modular power supply, you might see a range of different inputs for the CPU. It doesn't matter which one you plug it into. Honestly, just plug it into whichever one is easiest to get to. So that means I'm going to be avoiding this one here. Now, if you've got additional case fans or any SATA hard drives, then you also will need to plug in the power cable for those. So we've got some additional case fans that need powering. So we need to plug in this long cable. This just goes into the section labeled SATA and Molex. And the whole reason to plug in this entire cable is just so we can access this tiny thing here. This is super frustrating. Once you've got all of the cables plugged in to your power supply, you now need to get this into your PC case. So to install your power supply into your PC case, you need to make sure that this section lines up with the back section where you've got a gap at the bottom of your PC case. Line it up until all the screw holes are aligned and then just screw it in. And there is your power supply unit all installed. I would give it a little wiggle just to make sure it's firmly in place because you don't want that moving around. And ours is locked in. So now that you've installed your power supply, you just want to leave all of the power supply cables to the side and get them all out of the way for the time being. And then we'll plug everything in at the end. There's no point in starting to plug stuff in now just because these cables are really bulky and then they might get in the way of you trying to install something else later on. So I'll just leave them to the side. And there you have it, guys. That's how to install a power supply unit into your gaming PC. So you should be all ready to go now. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if this video has helped you, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the Mirror Gaming channel. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.